slow down now. Stop. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Do you want to know the best thing about doing YouTube? Is that I could be anywhere at any time. I could be collecting my dad's new projects van. I could be cleaning a Lamborghini. Or I could be about to put the final couple of touches on my Golf R ready for the road. So if you've been watching the videos where I've been rebuilding this Golf R ready for the road, then you would know that there is a few little things we need to do before I finally get it on the road. Inside this box here, there's three things which should fix the remaining issues with the Golf. Number one is this little switch right here. Oh, I've got to take the airbag out. I'm all in. Brody on the line, I'm tapping in. Got out here pulling the strings for me. A girl on the line, she, she feeling me. Preoccupied by the motivation. Put in the time, pay the entry fee. Bro on the rise, yeah, he kind of nice. Inside of my mind, no one's real as me. Lately, life has been gorgeous. Wake up to clear out my eyes, hit record. Praise up to God, I ain't chasing no. Yes, all on, and we have a button. One complete steering wheel. Next up, climate control. So obviously after taking the whole dash apart, we learned that everything worked apart from this climate control. I've checked the fuses, I've checked the wiring, and I still cannot get it to work. Now I have plugged in a VACOM, the Volkswagen computer, and it says there's power getting to this, but it's faulty. So I picked up a new one, 20 quid, let's whack it in. Okay, moment of truth. Did we have a faulty climate control or is there something more sinister than that? Yes, it works! Come on, my son! Yes! And finally, this. Okay, so I installed new headlights, both sides to this Golf R, because obviously the other ones were smashed. Now this is supposedly with the headlights on. It's only one light on there, one light on there. Now when I put the full beams on, we've got another light coming on here, which I believe is a dip beam, but we can probably sort that out with a bit of coding. But on this side, it makes no difference whatsoever. I think it's a faulty ballast, which is what I've got and what we're about to find out. So what I'm trying to aim to do here is fit that onto there and then hopefully we'll get it doing the same as that side. Obviously we need full beams to pass an MOT, so, Let's fit it. What you staring at you looking dumb dumb? No, I don't ever hold my tongue tongue. I will never be what you expect. Maybe you need to get your eyes checked. I don't get if you think I'm stuck up. Okay, moment of truth. Can we hit it three in a row? I highly doubt this one. Okay, dip beam is on. I'm not quite sure that's dip beam. I think that's a parking lot, but at least they're both acting the same. Full beam. Yes, they're both the same. Yes! Three times, we've smashed it. It's gonna be a good day. Right, okay, enough of the golf. We've got to save some for the next video, but onto the main topic of today's video, my Lamborghini. I'm not sorry, cause that was intentional. Uh-huh. I meant every word that I said, yeah. You get angry with me cause I'm flexible Okay, so if you missed the video, I bought a Lamborghini Gallardo An absolute dream of mine I still cannot believe I bought it The LP560-4 And earlier, I was just on the phone to RE Performance Hello? Hello Matt, your parts have arrived Oh, it's arrived They're all here ready for you Great I'll be coming down. And they have just had delivered one of the most expensive modifications that I have ever bought for any car in my history of car ownership. Now I understand some of you prefer the golf builds or some of the cheaper builds that I do, but some of you prefer the Lamborghini build that I do. I like to have a massive variety of cars all on the channel, so this build is just gonna be one of my dream builds that I've always wanted to do. And believe me, it's gonna be entertaining. I got to where I am from doing crazy modifications and causing a bit of stir on the internet with my videos. And that is not gonna stop with the Lamborghini. We already bought Air Ride for it in the last video, but we've not yet fitted it to it. Um, partly because of this. Ah, uh, the tank don't fit. But don't worry, we're gonna have to improvise. I think it looks pretty cool behind the back seats like that. So that's definitely gonna take a lot of skill to fit. And speaking of skill... 
This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take their next step in their creative journey. With thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics such as illustration, photography, film and video, and a lot more. So I've been doing a class here with Zach Mulligan to improve my filmmaking skills. And it's really great because whether you're a beginner, an amateur or a pro, it's really simple and easy to understand. And Skillshare is incredibly affordable. It's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So no matter what 2021 brings, you can spend it creating something meaningful with Skillshare's online classes. Because after all, time is what we make of it. So the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description box below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. So, be quick. Now before we start doing some crazy modifications to the Gallardo, it's only time that we enjoyed it in its standard form. Lamborghini is never financially right. <laughs> they are so much fun. Even still to this day, it does not feel right owning a Lamborghini and someone like me does not feel like I should even own one. So I thought you guys should get as familiar as I am with the Lambo before we start doing some silly modifications to it. Check this out, this is one of the weirdest things I've thought. Inside here, this is where all your modes are. So you've got sport mode, automatic and Corsa, which is all out crazy. Sport mode obviously explains itself, automatic explains itself. Then obviously where's reverse? It's almost like Lamborghini forgot to put it in. It is over here. It's like, yep, let's put it all there. Ah, reverse and then they put it there. Inside it is very basic. There is no steering wheel controls. There's no cruise control. There's no parking sensors at all. It's literally just a car, a few pedals, and a Lamborghini badge. But all in all, it's one of the most enjoyable cars that I've owned so far. And it's only right that some of my family should enjoy it as well. So this is Holla. She is my sister, and uh, have you ever been in a Lamborghini? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you've not been in one? No. Do you like it? Yeah, it's nice. Look at this. Oh my god. What was going to say this? Next up, my mum. Okay, get in. Okay. <laughs> no, no, you slow down now. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no! Rude. Did you not like it? I liked it on the sort of like that if you've just been on a really big roller coaster on the towers or something. Okay, a bit of classic YouTube fun there, but this car, yes, it's around 550 bhp and it's a little bit quiet for a Lamborghini, but I think we can improve that. Which is the whole reason why we have just arrived at RE Performance. Look, I'm about my plaid, bitch. I'm decked up on blue bills. And I won't stop until the cash pit look like fall leaves in a bag field. Tell her out of my face if she coming with that board. Quick to save my peace, I'm so after school. Okay, so obviously we've been to RE Performance before with the Audi R8. And as you can see, they're a bit of an R8 specialist. But there's a bigger reason why we're here. And there's a bigger reason to why I bought my Lamborghini. So let's head inside and I'm gonna let you in to a little secret. <laughs> okay, <laughs> excuse the Man United wrapping paper. I do not have any idea what Ricky is playing at. A few of you guys may know exactly what RE Performance do and exactly why I'm here right now. And it won't be a surprise what's inside this, but for those who don't, let's unbox it. <laughs> Hello, twin turbos for my Gallardo. So obviously these are gonna be bolted straight on 
to my Lamborghini Gallardo. This is going to be ridiculous. Look, at, literally like a kid's dream. One of my, literally it's a massive dream. Even to own a Gallardo, not only to bolt massive twin turbos to the back of it. This is going to be insane. Okay, so twin turbos meet Lamborghini. Lamborghini meet twin turbos soon. These will be attached to you. Inside here is all the wiring and the ECU. The boring side of it, <laughs> and this is the most important side of it. In the back of this Gallardo right now is a 5.2 litre V10, around 550 odd bhp, and we're going to increase it to what we're going to increase it by, Ricky? How much do you want? Uh, I want more like 900, 900 plus. Let's do 900. 900 bhp it's going to be, and we're going to get spitting flames and also it's going to be absolutely crazy. So when a lot of you guys have been asking, oh, why have I bought a Lamborghini which isn't crash damaged? Why have I bought one which is a low mileage one? It's not like me. This is the reason why. So the reason why it's only done 10,000 miles is because we want to strap these twin turbos to it. The stock engine copes with this power. So it's almost like Lamborghini wanted us to do this. It's just like, have a bit more power, have a bit more power, strap these twin turbos directly straight onto it. So by having a lower mileage car, there's less likely things, less engine wear, less things to sort of go wrong as we realize with the Audi R8. So fingers crossed, this is gonna to go to plan. And speaking of plans, this is the plan. <laughs> so I know you guys like watching me taking apart things, building things and watching the whole process of things. I've actually got myself an apprenticeship here as well at RE Performance. So we'll be stripping the engine apart, putting the twin turbos on it and uh, yeah, getting it on the dyno and see if we can push over that 900 bhp mark. It's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. And if that's not worth the subscribe, then I don't know what is. Okay, so in this one outside, it's already had a twin turbo kit fitted to it. And just to give you a little demo of exactly what it's like to have a V10 twin turbo, here's a little clip on the screen. And there we go, guys, the secret is out. Yes, twin turbo Gallardo. We believe it actually to be one of the first in the country, a twin turbo Gallardo. Correct me if I'm wrong. Put in the comment section if you know another one in the UK, which is twin turbo. Well, so I know it's completely different to what we usually do, and I know some of you prefer seeing the Golf R, the Maserati, or the other cars on the channel, but this has literally been a dream of mine since I was a little kid, and I'm, I'm just a car enthusiast at heart. It doesn't matter what car it is, and I think this is gonna be so crazy to do, and I can't wait to get started on it. So make sure you click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.